the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The name conjures up images of lush greenery, cascading waterfalls and architectural splendor. The Hanging Gardens are considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, yet their existence is hotly debated. Some believe they were real, others dismiss them as myth. This essay explores the enigma of the Hanging Gardens. We will delve into the historical context, architectural descriptions and archaeological evidence. Let us journey back in time to ancient Mesopotamia. Here mighty empires rose and fell and the story of the Hanging Gardens unfolds. Babylon, a city of immense size and wealth, capital of the Neo-Babylonian Empire, flourished under King Nebuchadnezzar II. He reigned from 605 to 562 BC. Nebuchadnezzar was a renowned builder and conqueror. He is often credited with the construction of the Hanging Gardens. Babylon was strategically located on the Euphrates River. This made it a center for trade and commerce. The city bustled with merchants, artisans and scholars. Among all its wonders, the Hanging Gardens stood out. They were a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of Babylon's power. Nebuchadnezzar II ascended to the throne in 605 BC. He inherited a mighty kingdom but sought to expand its influence. Through military campaigns and alliances, he extended Babylonian rule. His empire stretched from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea. Nebuchadnezzar was also a visionary builder. He invested heavily in public works projects. He ordered the construction of canals, temples and palaces. One of his most ambitious projects was the reconstruction of Babylon. He fortified the city walls, built the famous Ishtar Gate. Nebuchadnezzar's reign marked a golden age for Babylon. The city flourished under his rule. It became a center of learning, culture and trade. It attracted scholars, artists and merchants. The Hanging Gardens, if they existed, would have been the crowning jewel of his reign. They were a testament to his vision and ambition. Babylon was located in the Fertile Crescent of Mesopotamia. This region is often called the Cradle of Civilization. It lies between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Mesopotamia was where agriculture first emerged. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers were the lifeblood of Mesopotamia. They provided water for irrigation, allowing farmers to grow crops. The rivers also served as vital trade routes. Babylon's strategic location on the Euphrates gave it a distinct advantage. The city controlled a key crossing point on the river. This made it a hub for trade between east and west. Babylon's wealth and prosperity attracted the attention of neighboring empires. Babylon was a hub of intellectual and cultural innovation. Babylonian scholars made significant advancements in mathematics, astronomy and law. They developed the base 60 number system, still used today for measuring time and angles. Babylonian astronomers tracked the movements of stars and planets. They developed sophisticated calendars and could predict eclipses. The Code of Hammurabi, one of the earliest known legal codes, was created in Babylon. It established a system of laws and punishments. The Hanging Gardens, if they existed, would have been the ultimate testament to Babylonian ingenuity. They represented a triumph over nature. Imagine a vast desert. The sun beats down relentlessly. Now, picture a green oasis rising from the sand. This was the breathtaking sight of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. They were a marvel of engineering and artistry. The Hanging Gardens were said to have been built by Nebuchadnezzar II. Legend has it that he built them for his wife, Amethyst, who missed the lush greenery of her homeland. The gardens were built on a massive platform supported by arches and vaulted chambers. This created a series of terraces covered with earth for planting trees, shrubs and flowers. The gardens contained plants from all over the world, creating a stunning display of biodiversity. The gardens were a spectacle for all who saw them. They were a testament to Nebuchadnezzar's love and Babylon's power. The construction of the Hanging Gardens was a monumental undertaking. It required the ingenuity of Babylon's finest engineers. The gardens were built in a desert environment where water was scarce. The solution was an ingenious irrigation system. 
A series of canals and aqueducts brought water from the Euphrates River. The water was lifted to the top of the gardens using a chain pump. The chain pump consisted of buckets attached to a chain powered by a wheel turned by oxen. As the chain rotated, the buckets scooped water from the river and carried it up to the gardens. The water was then distributed throughout the terraces using channels and pipes. This ensured that all the plants received a constant supply of water. The hanging gardens were more than just a feat of engineering. They were a sanctuary of beauty and tranquility. The terraces were interconnected by walkways and staircases. Water cascaded from fountains and waterfalls, creating a soothing ambience. The air was filled with the scent of exotic flowers. Birds sang in the trees. The gardens were a feast for the senses. They provided a welcome respite from the heat and dust of Babylon. The hanging gardens of Babylon may be lost to time, yet their legacy lives on. The gardens continue to capture the imagination. They inspire us to dream of a world where human ingenuity knows no bounds. The story of the hanging gardens has been passed down through generations. It has been depicted in countless paintings, sculptures and literary works. While the hanging gardens may be gone, the spirit of innovation they represent is timeless. They remind us that humans are capable of achieving great things when we dare to dream big. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, a marvel of engineering, a testament to love, a symbol of Babylon's power, yet despite their grandeur, a shadow of doubt hangs over their existence. The Hanging Gardens are the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world whose location has not been definitively confirmed. Archaeological digs in Babylon have unearthed massive structures, but none definitively match the descriptions of the Hanging Gardens. Ancient historians like Herodotus and Diodorus Siculus describe the Hanging Gardens in detail, but their accounts are problematic. Adding to the skepticism is the lack of contemporary Babylonian sources mentioning the Hanging Gardens. Nebuchadnezzar II, the king credited with their construction, left numerous inscriptions detailing his building projects. However, there is no mention of the Hanging Gardens in any of his inscriptions. This silence is puzzling. If the Hanging Gardens were indeed a real place, wouldn't he have wanted to commemorate their construction? Some scholars argue that the Babylonian records mentioning the Hanging Gardens may have been lost or destroyed. Babylon was sacked and burned multiple times throughout its history. The absence of any contemporary Babylonian accounts remains a significant obstacle for those who believe in the historical reality of the Hanging Gardens. Some scholars propose an intriguing theory to explain the lack of definitive evidence for the Hanging Gardens in Babylon. They suggest that the gardens may have existed, but not in Babylon. Instead, they propose that the gardens were located in Nineveh and built by the Assyrian king Sennacherib. Sennacherib ruled Assyria from 705 to 681 BC. He constructed a magnificent palace at Nineveh, adorned with gardens and water features. Proponents argue that ancient historians may have conflated Sennacherib's gardens in Nineveh with Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon. While intriguing, this theory is not without its flaws. The descriptions of the hanging gardens in ancient texts clearly associate them with Babylon, not Nineveh. The debate surrounding the hanging gardens of Babylon is a testament to the enduring power of mystery. In the absence of definitive proof, imagination takes flight. Did the hanging gardens exist as described in ancient texts? Were they a real place, a testament to human ingenuity and a botanical paradise in the heart of a desert empire? Or were they a product of exaggeration, a legend embellished over time to become a wonder of the world? Perhaps the truth lies somewhere in between. The Hanging Gardens may have been inspired by real gardens in Babylon or elsewhere in Mesopotamia. Over time, the story of these gardens may have been embellished. Regardless of their true nature, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon continue to fascinate us. They remind us of the power of human imagination and the allure of the unknown.
The earth holds secrets. These secrets whisper to us through the ages. Archaeologists, like detectives, search for clues. They seek to piece together the puzzle of the past. The search for the hanging gardens of Babylon is an ongoing quest. Archaeologists have been excavating the ruins of Babylon for over a century. They have unearthed the remains of palaces, temples and city walls. One intriguing discovery was made in the 19th century by German archaeologist Robert Koldewey. He uncovered the vaulted chambers beneath the palace of Nebuchadnezzar II. Some speculate that these chambers might have formed the foundation of the Hanging Gardens. While archaeological evidence for the Hanging Gardens remains elusive, historical texts offer tantalizing clues. Ancient writers from Greece, Rome and Babylon itself mentioned the gardens in their works. These accounts, written centuries after the fall of Babylon, vary in detail, yet they consistently describe a structure of remarkable beauty and ingenuity. Herodotus, writing in the 5th century BC, provides one of the earliest known descriptions of the Hanging Gardens. He describes a multi-tiered structure built on a square base, with each tier supported by stone columns. Diodorus Siculus, a Greek historian writing in the 1st century BC, provides an even more detailed account. He describes a complex irrigation system that drew water from the Euphrates River. These accounts, while valuable, must be treated with caution. Nevertheless, the consistency of these descriptions suggests that the legend of the Hanging Gardens was widespread in the ancient world. The most tantalizing clues to the Hanging Gardens may lie within Babylonian texts. The Babylonians were meticulous record keepers. They documented their history and laws on clay tablets. Thousands of these tablets have survived. Some scholars believe references to the gardens might be found in Nebuchadnezzar's building projects. One inscription boasts of a palace with lofty gardens and trees. Another text mentions a great water lifting machine. The search for a definitive account of the Hanging Gardens continues. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, whether fact or fiction, left an indelible mark on history. They represent the pinnacle of ancient engineering, a verdant oasis in the heart of a desert, a testament to human innovation. The Hanging Gardens remind us that technological advancement is timeless. Their legacy continues to inspire us today. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, if they existed, were more than just a feat of engineering. They were a testament to the power of nature. Imagine the impact of the gardens on those who experienced them firsthand. In the midst of a bustling city, the Hanging Gardens offered a sanctuary of peace and tranquility. The sight of lush greenery, cascading waterfalls and exotic flowers would have been a welcome respite from the arid landscape. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, regardless of their physical reality, provide a valuable window into the past. They offer insights into the beliefs, values and aspirations of the ancient Mesopotamian world. The gardens, as described in ancient texts, were not merely a display of wealth and power. They were imbued with symbolic meaning. They represented paradise on earth. This concept, prevalent in many ancient cultures, reflected a longing for a world of abundance, beauty and harmony. The gardens were also associated with the divine. Ancient Mesopotamians believed that gods and goddesses inhabited sacred groves and gardens. The hanging gardens, with their lush vegetation and cascading water, may have been seen as a bridge between the earthly realm and the heavens. By studying the legends and stories surrounding the hanging gardens, we gain a deeper understanding of the worldview of the ancient Mesopotamians. We learn about their relationship with nature, their spiritual beliefs, and their aspirations for a better world. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon echo through time, captivating our imaginations. They inspire artists, writers and dreamers. The mystery adds to their allure. History is a tapestry of legends, myths and fragments. We piece together the past with evidence and imagination. Their impact on our consciousness is undeniable. They represent human creativity and the allure of the unknown. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon A name whispered through the ages. Were they real? Did they exist in ancient Mesopotamia or are they a figment of our imagination? The mystery persists. The hanging gardens remain elusive. Perhaps one day a discovery will reveal the truth.
The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, whether real or imagined, have earned their place in our collective memory. They stand as a testament to the enduring power of stories and the human capacity for wonder. Long after the walls of Babylon crumbled, the legend of the Hanging Gardens persisted. Perhaps in a way the Hanging Gardens continue to exist as a testament to human imagination. It is in this realm, where dreams take root and possibilities bloom, that the true legacy of the Hanging Gardens continues to flourish.